Um, can you first just start off by talking about your, your name and your um, event for the audio? Jen Sure Pobalt. Okay, so uh, do you just first want to start by talking about your expectations for today and what you uh, had planned going in? Um, you, I guess you really never know what expectations. Uh, coming in here, like I said, I've been hurt for a long time. I had two weeks where I could finally run. And after prelims, I was a little bit worried because the next day I wasn't recovering. And it's funny, the older you get, it's a couple more days before you get sore. And after prelims today, my body was trashed and I just was trying to put everything I had into it. I think after warmups, I knew it was gonna be a dog fight and I think I made peace with it. I kept fighting, but I knew in my head that my body was giving out. And then we have a question from Jack Crowell. He said, how did the heat affect your event today? You know, it was hot out there. It affected, I mean, I think it affects everyone differently. Um, I'm not a heat person. I'm from New York. So, you know, and I think I just couldn't recover. I didn't have anything in my muscles. I didn't feel like I could get to the box. Everything was slow motion. So, I mean, that could be 39 or that could be the heat, you know? So I'm not even not the one to judge. <laughs> Describe how your body felt in warmups. Um, basically, it was tired. It was going through the motions without a lack of pop, a lack of speed. It was basically trying to feel it in my head, but I wasn't responding. And the harder I run, the worse things were getting. And by the end of it, when I sat down and I came in the meet at 460, 15, one, my right Achilles was done. So everything I came down on, every step I felt, and I thought, well, if it goes, it's going to go at my last trials. You know, it was just at that point. We have another question from Jack Crow. He said, what does the future look like for you? Um, in terms of pole vault, it's going to be very short. I, I don't know how much longer I want to live with the sadness. <laughs> um. <laughs> Take your time. I said I wasn't gonna cry. <laughs> okay. You know, anything at this point's a bonus and I'm ready to leave. What are you gonna take from this experience compared to your last couple ones? Um you know, I think. I don't think I've ever been so happy for another athlete to make the team. And when Morgan made it, like it made my heart happy because she's worked so hard. She's been fourth all the time. Um, every meet, if there's a jump off, she's fourth, you know? So for her to make the team and what she's put into it, I think for me, that was special. And if anyone was gonna make that team, I wanted her to make it. Did you experience the, the meet differently knowing it was your last trials? Um, I try to enjoy it, but that's pretty much impossible. <laughs> it's, it's very hard to go in there and have the pressures. And, you know, it's kind of a young man's game. And I feel like the older you get, the more pressure you have, but it drains you of energy. And so you can't, you don't have that reserve you have when you're 25 and 26. So at 39, I was like, I was exhausted. <laughs> Just... <laughs> So we'll wait to see if there's any more questions in the chat. Just if you have any questions, just raise your hand so I know you're typing. Okay, I think we're good. Thank you. All right. Yeah.